Excuse me, I'm out of breath. I've been going away at this machine for a bit. Uh, so, this is a project I've been working on recently. This is a Coca-Cola vending machine. It's a Vendo 110. I had to drive all the way to Oklahoma to get it. But, um, I'm hoping to take this front door off, try to get a replica door made of it without this beveled Coca-Cola on here. That way I don't damage the machine. Because all I can do, really, is just take this off right here at the hinges and just swap the door out and then just repaint this side right here but as you can tell there's a few spots that need some bondo but it'll it'll be pretty good but uh my initial goal for this was to make the speed cola machine from call of duty nazi zombies and as you can tell it's got the bottle rack here this unit right here can hold 110 bottles and you'll see why i'm out of breath in a moment uh, I've already got the coin mech taken off. The only thing that's holding this on here is this little bar right here, but that's hidden in place with one of these, uh, I don't know if I can find it. Yeah, one of these little pin wedges here. You just slide that down in the groove, and that locks the bar into place. Uh, we open this right here. It's got all the racks in it. The only thing is, is that this one is missing the spring, and these two are missing little bottle pieces that's an easy fix after all this is taken out i've got to re-lubricate this i've got to take it out sand it give it new paint and all that all the work but this is what took me a while getting this door plate off here and i'm glad that this is fiberglass because this was made back in 1959 when uh asbestos was still around but so this is fiberglass it's going to just easily come out but that right there is what i got to get to and in order to do that i got to take all of this out this right here is a little fluorescent light it was a little button here i had to push it in to get the door mount off let me go show you that right off the bat pardon the mess but this is my little project room it's it's messy but this is the door mount here it's got the giant uh one, I was thinking one sixteenth inch steel plate. Anyways, this side's galvanized. Don't really have to worry about too much rust on this side. However, though, the other side, it's it's rusted. It's got to be sanded down and repainted in order to keep it from rusting again. It's got a little, a little tiny sliver of rust right here, but I'm just gonna sand that out and try to blue it. It's got the initial loading instructions. It's got one for 110, one for 81. Gonna try to keep those on there, but we'll see how that goes. So far, everything looks pretty good. You'll see a little piece of uh, fiberglass fell out. Did not expect that, but it will. I plan to replace it all with foam anyways, so foam is a little bit more sturdy and not deadly to your skin. But uh, the wood, surprisingly, the wood is still holding up. There's a few spots that need to be epoxied, like this spot right here it needs to be a little bit epoxied, but you know, for the most part, it's still holding up. Then there's, uh, yeah, that one right there needs to be epoxied. That one's stripped out. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some wood glue and I'm going to put some glue inside of here, let it hard around the screw, take the screw out, and then that'll be that. But now it's on to getting this part off right here. That'll allow me to take the entire coin mechanism off, get out to all of these controls right here. <sighs> And then we'll try to take all of this out, but I might just leave this part in here for right now. I don't see any rust on the other side. I don't see any rust coming out from over there. However, though, down here, I can see a little bit of rust just peeking through. It might be dirt in there, but I can see rust on the side right there. I might have to take this entire bottom part out because this is where the moisture, this is where the moisture condenses down. And this right here is the cooling unit. That right there, that's the compressor. Got to get a new compressor for it. Compressor shot. And then we got this drain valve here for the for the water runoff. Ew. Yeah, it's a pro. Ew, I'm glad that I didn't plug that in. That wire is that wire. My phone focus. That wire is a little a little baked. <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna be project. Ugh. Big project for sure, but at the end of it, excuse the mess up here, I've been using this as a shelf, but 
At the end of this year, I plan to make a 3D print slash lost wax casting of the top mount for the Speed Cola logo. She's going to be hooked on here by magnets. I don't want to damage this original casing here. You know, just strip the paint off of it. The paint's already coming off. But uh, this front door, again, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do an entire remake of it. I'm going to do a remake of this part right here, and this part next to this part, the only thing that's separating it is this little chrome piece. This chrome piece I'm going to get remade. I'm going to get a new door remade. I'm going to have this entire piece here not be separated by this to allow moisture through, so it's only, only going to be one long piece. And then, after that, it's getting new gaskets. Gasket needs to be replaced. New fluorescent lamp. Fluorescent lamp I can just swap out. New key set. Key set needs to be replaced. This key set is, well, it's, it's kaput. Lock's still good, but the little bevel it sits in is bad. Might try to salvage that and use it for something. But yeah, other than that, I'm just going to get this coin back out, and then I can pop this entire front plate off, take all the innards out of this door, and get to work on making a new door. So, it's a project. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I am going to be remaking this little coin door here. It's not going to have the same little connection on the new one. It's going to have little hinges that sort of act the same way here, but I'm going to have it to where you don't need to take off the coin mech in order to get inside of them. That is going to be a task. And also I need to get a new correct change only logo here. That one is starting to peel off. But uh, so far it's still holding up. It's from 1959. If my phone will focus. But yeah, so far it's from 1959, so it should should still be in good order, I think. That might be. No, there it is right there. 58, actually. Missouri. But anyways, that's the project. Making a speed cola machine. My next one that I order is going to be a Vendo 44, and I'm trying to make the Juggernog one. And that one's going to be, that one's also going to be a task. But we'll keep you posted.